Alright guys, Adam Stevenson here. I'm coming to you, back to you, with tip number two in a series of three. So if you missed tip number one, that was posted last week on social media, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Go back, check it out, don't worry, okay, you'll catch up, there's no problem. Tip number one is there for you, available. Um, but this week we are moving on to tip number two on how you can regain your and recalibrate your body and your mind out on the golf course so you can play better golf. So, tip number two. What I want you to do when you're walking around the golf course, I want you to focus on how you're walking. All right, a lot of times uh, we hit a bad shot or play a bad hole and we're in the middle of a bad round and our emotions, they start to get the, get the better of us, right? So what happens? Our emotions, they start to make us feel bad about ourselves. We feel angry, frustrated. We know we can play better golf than this. Or maybe even our emotions from work that we've taken with us out to the golf course. We're frustrated because we had a really lousy day at work or at home with the family. They've, something's happened that's really not quite, not quite uh, resonating with you. So you feel a little frustrated. Well, what happens is when we feel frustrated and our emotions, our, our frustration emotions, they start to get a hold of us here, we start to feel a little bit bad. So we kind of carry ourselves like this. Our head goes down, neck comes forward, our shoulders start to round, and we walk around like this. And this is actually a terrible position because all of a sudden our body's in a defensive mode. It's trying to protect itself, all right? Our emotions are really, really not feeling so good, so we're just protecting ourselves. We're feeling really lousy, and you know, we're vulnerable. We become vulnerable to everything around us. Hit another bad shot, oh, just not my day today. Well, what's happening is our, our body is actually creating a lot of stress hormones, okay? So uh, we've heard of cortisol before. Well, our body's full of cortisol and we feel a little bit frustrated. Our fight or flight uh, aggression start to take over because the cortisol is going through our body and we just feel really loud. So we might even just do one of these numbers here. Wham! Throwing the club into the ground. Frustration, frustration, frustration. So how you're carrying yourself on the golf course is gonna affect how you play golf. So I want you to do, when you're walking around the golf course, I want you to, it doesn't matter how bad a day you've had at work or with the family or even how bad a round of golf you're playing, it doesn't matter. I want you to walk with dignity, walk with pride, feel good about yourself, right? The minute you lift yourself up, you know, chin up, all of a sudden you start feeling better about yourself and that's going to affect your game in a positive way. In fact, if you're sitting at home right now, just try it. Lift yourself up, see how you feel. All of a sudden you feel great, right? Well, try this on the golf course when you're walking around. I want you to try and focus on the pin ahead of you, okay? Looking at the flag, even if it's 300 meters down the road, down the fairway, I want you to look above the pin. I want you to look at the flag, all right? So you're lifting your eyes up and focusing ahead of you, lifting your body up, okay? Now it's going to open your body up to a better emotional feeling. You're going to feel great about yourself. And at the same time, because your posture, you, you, you feel relaxed, you're able to breathe properly, everything's going to be in balance, all right? So that's tip number two. When you're walking, chin up and walk with pride. Enjoy.